Hello everyone, this is Joanna. Welcome to my channel. Thanks for clicking on the link. This is an e.l.f. one brand focus. I like filming these videos. I filmed one about Clinique. I will link that at the end of this video if you're interested in seeing all the products I have for Clinique. Uh, sorry if I'm squinting because I have lots of light in front of me and I'm an acromat. That means I can't see colors. So that makes me squint when there's lots of bright light. But anyway, let's try to film this video. So what I've done is I've made notes about how these products are advertised. So what the brand says about them. And then I've written my opinion. So it's in this notebook, all my notes. And I'm going to talk about loads of products. I have brushes, primers, concealers, eyeshadow stips, lips, lip stips, lip stips, <laughs> and all kinds of goodies. So let's begin. I'm going to take off my glasses because it's easier for me to read when I'm not wearing glasses, which is weird. But anyway, that's how it goes. So let's start with brushes. I have the C brush, which is this one here, I think. Yep. This brush here, I've used it. So this is supposed to be vegan and I have used it. You are supposed to use a C motion on the outer corner, move upwards. So this is supposed to help you like smoke out your eye, I guess. Just go upwards. I don't know if I'm using the correct terms. I'm not a makeup artist. I have used this. Um, yeah, sure. It's fine. It's a brush. It smudges. Does a job. I got it for $2.99 at TK Maxx in the UK. So that was a bargain. Another brush I got is the Selfie Ready Blurring Brush, which is this one here. This is what the bristles look like. Nice and soft. It's ideal for uh, powders. I have a powder brush, which I'm going to get rid of, so I haven't really used it. I do like the fact that it's quite thick so I might even use it a little bit to contour um, and you know spread my uh, blend my contour um, it's great for cream bronzer according to the website it's also great for highlighter I haven't used it for that I got this for $3.99 at TK Maxx and then I have this brush which I don't remember what it is it's from elf I don't even know what this brush is called it's one of these it's kind of like a pencil brush, I guess. I use this just to stack on a little bit of makeup on my lid. I like it. It's like a spongy brush. So it's not like, it has those bristle things, but they're quite thick. It's not flexible. So, yeah. And this is my blusher brush, which I've used for ages. I like it in the beginning. I used to put it on and get loads of product on my face. So don't uh, use it, don't stack on product on this because you get like loads and loads of product on your face. So be careful of that. Now, this is something I have bought, I have never used because I'm scared of it. It is the um, blush and bronzer from the Aqualine. So these are the two colors. Now, there is uh, on the left hand side, you have a pink. I'm also colorblind, I don't know if I've said that, so I have to write. So on the left hand side, which is this, so this is the pink. Now, the reason I have not worn this, this is what it looks like on a swatch, is because I'm scared to use a product that is a cream. I prefer powders because I think that um, creams are harder to blend for me because of my eyesight, so I don't know. Now, according to the website, this is um, supposed to be, well, I haven't written anything, so I'm just, I'm not going to make anything up. I didn't look that up, but I just wrote, cream, never used it, scared of creams. That's my review. Now, tone adjusting face primer, which is this one here. Now, <clears throat> this is supposed to be good for redness, and it's supposed to reduce redness. You're supposed to apply it re re evenly. The packaging is deceptive. You get this really, really big package and you think you've got loads of product in it, but you do not. And that's what lots of people write on the review on the website. So keep that in mind. Do I notice that it reduces my redness? Maybe just a little bit. It doesn't do anything amazing though. I'm still red. So yeah, 
it's like a cream though I like the texture of it so I will be repurchasing this I'm using this currently I kind of like it let's move on to my next product which is my elf lip oil so this is it I'll try to swatch it so you can see what it looks like so it's a lip oil that's the pigmentation of the lip oil now what this is is supposed to be nourishing and hydrating you can see that it's patchy but that doesn't matter when it's a lip oil because you just apply it on and you go mm -hmm, and that's it now um, they are very nourishing if you like lip oils you'll like it it is sticky I have the lip oil from Clarins and the lip oil from Dior or YSL YSL I think no Dior um, I would say that the Dior one is the best the Clarins after that and then this one it's a lip oil though so if you just want something to make your lips look juicy you should check this out um, and it's quite pigment pigmented I think this is the berry I got the berry it smells like candy that's what I've written here um, the other shades are too light I got this one because this was the only one that would show up on my lips um, now as I said it's nourishing it's great for the summer I guess so yeah check it out if you're looking for a lip oil I got this elf tube highlighter so these are droplets so I'll show you what they look like when you put some on your skin so that's it hang on can you see that's on my skin I'm gonna so it does make your skin shiny but again I'm scared of it I might use this a bit on my eyes I guess just to add some highlight to my eyes I'm not really using it if you use this please let me know how you use it do you put it in your foundation to make your foundation look um, uh, brighter or something and maybe in the corner of your eyes this would be good so yeah now the elf under eye high definition so this is a powder for under your eyes it's good it sets your eyes you have to use it very very quickly um, it's supposed to blur lines hmm. I don't really have that many lines so I don't know um, it has vitamin C and K that's supposed to help your skin it is used over concealer I use this over the over concealer and then since I'm talking about concealer let me talk about the uh, concealer I have from um, what's it called uh, elf which is really nice but I haven't brought it here I really like the concealer I use one under my eyes to brighten it and they're really good um, moving on sorry about that moving on the elf lip exfoliator so this is it I use this to exfoliate my lips when they're dry especially during the winter I like this it's kind of rough, rough though it's not uh, so because it's exfoliating and it has those little beads in it it is quite rough so it does make your lips feel a bit um, smoother and softer um, do uh, does it, it also it's a bit greasy so when you finish off you do have this nice um, oily um, sensation on your lips I like that it plumps up your lips I like it that's a good one. Oh, one of my favorite elf products I've made a whole video about this I'll try to remember to link it are the no budge eyeshadow sticks I have all of them they are really really pigmented they look really nice the one I'm showing you here is which one have I showed you uh, I think this is mocha not sure and then I have this one here, which is um, gold rose, rose gold. So mocha and rose gold. They don't budge. They are really pigmented, really easy to apply. You just go. Doo, 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 doo. If you're like me and you can't see well, these are amazing. Really like them. Creamy, easy to blend really good they don't smudge uh, really really nice um, now the aqualine liquid eyeshadow stick is another product I have I'm gonna show you what it looks like 
So that's it here, here. Now, these are really nice. They look, they make your eyes look pearly, creamy. They set, they don't really crease unless you put a lot. If you put a lot, they will crease. So yeah, and then I fell for the jelly highlighter, which I have not used as a highlighter, but I have used as, that's what it looks like. I have used as an eyeshadow, and I like the way it looks. Really nice. <laughs> it's fun to play with, so if you just want to try it, just to play with it. If you can use it as a as a highlighter, good for you. I can't because I can't see, and it's really hard. But as an eye cream, I liked it. It was. It's very fresh. I think I'm going to enjoy this in the summer. It's like a jelly. It is jelly. Um, finally, I have a lipstick that's currently being sold. I think they're called like matte lipsticks. I have one in tea rose or something like that. That's what it looks like. So there, this is it. And um, nice pencil. It's nice and matte. It's pigmented. I haven't worn it a ton. I like it. And I bought this because I wanted to dry eyeliner, but that was not a success. So I haven't really used the e.l.f. eyeliner. I might just use it for like doing the inner corner of my eye maybe. Just a bit like that. Or topping up, you know, the eyelid. Just a little bit to give a bit of shine. On the model it looks amazing. But I ain't no e.l.f. makeup artist. So yeah. And finally I got the mascara which I haven't used. And I'm not going to open because I chuck them when I've used them for three months. So this is going to be my new mascara. It's the... 3-in-1 Very Black Mascara. Let me know if you've tried the e.l.f. mascaras and what you think. Let me know if you have tried any of these products, what you think. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, because that would help my video get more views. And maybe subscribe if you want. That would be amazing. I'm trying to grow. But it's really, really hard. And yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you in my next video. I'll put on my glasses again. Sorry if I was looking at my notebook, but yeah, it's hard. See you in my next video. Bye.